torture because we need to be able, we need to wake, wake up our sense to identify different characteristics and to be ready to taste some coffee. But I'm just gonna explain you and I'm gonna be just the host. You are gonna be the expert. I'm gonna be an expert even though I'm a beginner. Let's yeah, get yeah, it. Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing? Bro? Oh man, I'm awesome. I, I'm. First time in Colombia? Second time. Second time. First time in Salento. Oh, okay. Okay. So, it's time to talk about coffee. Time to talk about coffee. I have a question to you. So let's talk about flavors. What do you think that there are the main flavors that we have in the world? So we have, we have sweet, salty, bitter, sour, and there's one more I'm missing. Main, but we have, according to Japanese people, we have number five. Number five is called umami. 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 Have you heard about umami? Never heard of umami. Umami uh, was developed by Japanese people and they have two definitions from umami. In a subjective way and an objective way. Okay. So they say subjective way, they say umami is the pleasure that you feel when you try something. In the objective way, they say that umami is the mixture of different flavors in one. So for example, if you try a beer, you have umami a bit. So, if, yeah. you try, if you try coffee, you have coffee, you umami. have umami, yeah, coffee. Same, same. potato, the same. So we have umami is a mixture of different flavors in one. In front of you, you have three small cup of glass. So I want that you taste each one, drink each one. So you drink, you put inside the mouth, you move in the mouth, identify the flavor, and after you identify the flavor, identify the place of the tongue in which you feel it. Well, I have a coffee scent, but it looks like water. It's water with flavor. Remember, you need to identify the flavor and the place of the tongue. What's the flavor you have in the first one? A sugary flavor. Sweetness. Sweetness. Okay. Where do you feel sweetness? Around the front. In the front, okay. Sweet, you say, in the front. Sweet in the front. Okay, according to the sky, we feel sweetness in the tip of the tongue. Right. Good. Okay, second one. Okay, second one. Second one. Sour. Sour. I saw you guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You are really sour. Okay, okay. So, where do you feel sour? Like, kind of like further backish. Okay. A little further backish. Okay. According to his time, you feel sour and the size. The size? Yeah. That's why when you drink something that is really sour, has a little acidity, you may need to taste Right. Why? Well, because something that we're not used to. So we try to avoid the flavor inside the mouth. Okay. That makes sense. The third one. It's salty. Salty. Where do you feel salty? Right from the back of the tongue. Right from the back of the tongue, okay. According to the scalp, we feel salty in the four different sizes of the tongue. So two in front and two back. Mm -hmm. Okay. So it's one flavor missing. What is the flavor missing? Bitter. Bitter. We don't have bitter because bitter is something that gives us pleasure. So bitter is something that you don't want to feel. And because when you have bitterness, you feel back in the middle close to the aftertaste, so it keeps, it's a strong and that's why when you try something that's bitter, you need to drink water, you need to add sugar, you need to add something else in order to pass in a good way. And umami, you feel all around the tongue. So why we made this? Because we are pretty sensitive to the tongue and the tongue can help us to identify different flavors. So now you know that when you are trying, you are drinking something, you can use your tongue in order to be more specific and identify where you have okay. the cake. coffee, you're gonna identify all flavors. Okay, it's good for you. 
So it's time to make the second part. The second part to me is the most difficult one, but it's the most fun. Okay, we're gonna play with our robots. Okay? Robots. Alright. To play with this, I have this small box. And this is called Le Nez de Café. The Nose of Coffee. Le Nez de Café. Okay. It was developed by the French sommelier, Jean Lenoir. And Jean Lenoir is pretty famous in the world to develop the nose of wine. So basically, he divided wine into six different aromas. So, to uh, give the National Federation of Coffee Pickers in Colombia, Jean Lenoir developed the nose of coffee. So, he divided coffee at the beginning in 36 different aromas. Ooh! Interesting. 36 different aromas. aromas. Depending, so coffee, likes of coffee depends on culture, okay? So depending on country, they could be something positive or something negative. We're gonna play with this because we need to start working with our nose, okay? Because when you get to coffee, coffee just doesn't come to you, just through your mouth as well to your nose. Number one. Alright, remember you write the answer and just to the end we share it. Interesting. Is it good? Is it easy? Yes, the first one is kind of hard to identify. And I call myself a foodie and I can't even identify things. Why it's hard? Because even if we are really well almost all around the world, we don't create we don't the time to create a connection with our mind. So we don't have the concept, we don't know how to describe. Gotcha. You know. That's why we made this frozen. If it's in coffee, you're gonna find it all together. It's not something familiar, but I can't complain. Pretty familiar. Okay, so number one. There you have it. Number one, it, it, it smells like a plant, like a tree of some sort, like. Um, like, probably might be a coconut, I'm not too sure. I smell some type of coconut. Number two, I'm not too sure. Number two, could possibly be some type of sugar. Oh. It had, like, a heavy type of a smell. Seven, I kind of like it, it reminded me of cinnamon. Okay. Right? And number ten, it was also sweet, kind of like vanilla. Okay. Number one, we have... Earth? Okay. Number two. We have. Potato. Potato. Yeah. Potato. Mm. Starch. So it's a starch and smell. See if I can make that connection. Interesting. Alright. Number seven. We have. Clove. Clove. Kind of the same yeah. family as the world clothes. Yeah, so. yeah. Number 10, we have. Vanilla. Got it right! I knew it! Got one right. Yeah, we got it wrong. <laughs> Rumor, there were the easy ones. 32 to me is the most difficult one. 32 is the most difficult one. To me, probably you're better than me. Why do I know what this is? Mom did this before. Why do I know what this is? For sure, for sure. I, hold on. What she called it? Okay, this is hard. This one I can't smell. For some reason I can't pick up the scent. This has a very familiar scent. This has a very funky smell. And I, it can't really... I don't think I smell anything like it. I think, I think so. Okay. This one could either be caramel or French vanilla. So, in 25, we have. Hey! Cool. Okay. This one.
It's like a jerky. Said it too, y'all. That's why I said jerky. That's why I said, said jerky. But it's a different type of a smoke, though. Huh? It's a y'all yeah, just in smoke. You you can uh, create a connection with a lot of things with whiskey, with with barbecue. So maybe being a chef, I should. I can't pick up a scent. It's too light. That's not that light. But I mean, I, I, I think it's hard to describe. It's like, it's faint. It, I smell the sweetness, but it's faint. So it's very far, we have medicine. Medicine? Interesting. Really hard to describe. This one, I, 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 don't, I don't think I smell anything like it. It might be some type of vegetable. Thirty-six. We have rubber. <laughs> it's rubber. <laughs> it's rubber. <laughs> it's rubber. It's rubber. Wow. So you see, it's really impressive. Yeah. Wow. It's rubber. Wow. It's rubber. That's rubber. So, for example, to ask if you caramel, vanilla, or something positive. It means that the varieties that we have in the farm, they are having the characteristics, the own properties. So we're going to change some good varieties. But what about to build empty potato? Probably means that we dry cup in a bad way and we get that flavor, that aroma. Because we don't dry in a good way for coffee. The smoky flavors means that we warm the coffee. Basically, we have a high roasting level in the machine, we pour the coffee, and you're going to get the five just dealing with it, and that's it. Okay? Right. Remember, the second class coffee is not the best kind of coffee. Coffee will roast to power because we need to cover all the perfections. So, in second class coffee, well, the only thing you're going to get to buy is just beer. Okay? Okay. But it depends on the country. In the States, uh, they said, uh, they like higher roast because they are trying to look for something harder, something that is really strong. I don't think so. Yeah, because even you, in some cases, you don't like your own coffee. Okay. You prefer something different, but that's what they said. Okay. In some cases, you need to smell because coffee goes to you through your nose. So if you go to a store, and you see a big brand, there are seven big brands, in some cases it says vanilla, it doesn't mean that you have the flavor of vanilla of the, in your cup of coffee. In some cases they just add some chemicals in order that you can smell, and it creates the placebo in your mind if you are drinking something like vanilla, you are just smelling something else, and that's it. Gotcha. Okay? That's why, yeah, it always happens. You walk in the store, coffee be smelling good, I'm like, yo, dang, son. French vanilla coffee, I'm like, yeah, yeah. Mm. So now you like fruit? So I have fruits for you. Okay. So I have a tree. Half a job for you. So everything you need to do is just to eat. Nate in your state.